Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome back to the Pandora Directive, where it seems as though we have Malloy's notebook. notebook. must contain information on Malloy. But it's unreadable. So let us give Reagan Madsen a call, because hopefully now she's actually at home. Hello, Tex Murphy. Decide to take me up on my proposition? We need to talk. Sounds serious. When do you want to get together? How about as soon as possible? All right. There's a lounge here at the Imperial. Meet me in a half an hour. All right. That means I will leave now. Uh, the Imperial Lounge. The Imperial is in the new city. Not too nice, but a few cuts above the Ritz. I walk into the lobby, then down a flight of stairs to the lounge. I'm not looking forward to telling Regan what happened to her father. But she deserves to know, and I'm gonna need her help. Yeah, Reagan, your it's father got bourbon. shot. I may have blown up his corpse. Is everything okay? Tell me about your father. M my father worked for the military. I was born in China. I was raised there. He were really pretty close when I was younger, especially after my mother died. And then, um, you know, we moved back here when he retired. Then he married that... that teenage cult digger. You know who I'm talking about. Yes, it was the teenager's and, uh, fault that he, that he was uh, hitting the, on the, the the teenager. Why? Why did the teenager just, lure him, I just want to see him again. into her web? I talked to your father last night. You did? What, where is he? I want to see him. It's too late, Reagan. What do you mean? NSA killed him. He almost got both of us last night. I'm sorry. Send all those boxes out. So covered something. See if it looks she knows about the boxes. Oh wait, she already knows about the boxes. Yes, we already know that. Father's. I recognize this writing. But he wrote it all in his own personal shorthand. It's almost impossible for me to figure out. Why don't you give it a try anyway? It's one of the leads I'm working on to see what your father was doing. It's lucky the NSA didn't get this. You think it's that important? Yeah, well, I would imagine that anything that Malloy had, had was important. I remember with a man who said that if he could make a translation, it would be worth a fortune. Maybe it's tied to the boxes. I brought mine with me. Oh, yeah, okay. I had one, but the NSA confiscated it. But I know somebody else who's got one. Who? Gordon Fitzpatrick. Gordon Fitzpatrick. I haven't heard that name since I was a little kid. He used to work for my father. Well, he's as anxious to recover the boxes as you are. In fact, he's paying my tab. I say we form a triple alliance. He's got more connections than either one of us have got. Um, I... Let's wait and see what happens. That's yeah. not suspicious at all. My father made it when we were in Peking, and several others like it. He didn't show me how to open it, though. How many of these are there? Oh, five, I think. Look, why don't you let me take this and see if I can get it opened up? And I think I can I'm actually not open up sure myself. I like that idea. I mean, you could open it up and find the others and take all the money for yourself. 
Listen, Regan, you gotta trust me. You can't do this by yourself. Nobody can. You need my help, and I need your help. That is a persuasive argument, Sex. I guess I don't have much choice, do I? Tex, don't run out on me. I already lost my father. I won't. All right. Down a box, up a box. So that evens me up with a score of zero boxes. That is why you never trust math. Oh, hello. I have a message. Listen, Murphy, I've got a proposition for you. Give me a call when you get this. All right. Hey, Murphy. Okay, what's the deal? You followed up on the auto tech tip I gave you, right? Yeah. Yeah, turned out to be an NSA front. But you got inside. I did. Not as far as you know. Call it a hunch. Anyway, I need you to get something for me. It's a file with documentation on an NSA project called Operation Euphoria. It's kept in the NSA evidence room in the auto tech building. How do you know all this? Let's just say I've gotten to know some useful people. So what do you say? If you can get me the file, I'll trade you information or maybe something else. I've got access to anything you want. Just name it. All right. Um, hmm. So basically now I've got two reasons to go into the NSA. Uh, what's that? Is that the phone? That's Hello the phone. There. I'm glad I caught you at home. Yeah, me too. What's up? I found some things in my father's notebook that may interest you. How much is it worth to you? I'm a little bit short on cash. You take checks? Sorry. I require full payment. Up front. Oh, if we work things out, I'll completely satisfy the debt with interest. But what'd you find out? Well, not much. About the only thing I could figure out was toward the end of the notebook. There were quite a few references to OE, EW, and AE, but I'm not sure what they stand for. Well, the E and the W could be directions or compass points, and the OE stands for Old English, but that doesn't seem very relevant. Whatever they mean, I get the feeling they're leading to something really big. Everyone and their dogs want to get their hands on your father's work. As soon as we find out what these initials stand for, we'll be halfway to a fortune. I don't know. Maybe your father was keeping this under wraps for good reason. When we find out what this is all about, we may decide that whatever he learned shouldn't be let out into circulation. What are you talking about? That's why we're in this. For the money. Look. We're not just doing this for money. NSA, and I think that's We're doing this for a shitload of money. We'll only sell the information to the right people. Oh. What if it's not that simple? What if it's something that would be better locked up forever? That's not an option. It was my father's work, so by rights it's mine now. You can have a piece of the action, or I can do it alone. Now I think you should give me back that box I gave you. I don't think that's a good idea. You don't have the right to keep it from me. It's mine. That's not the point. You're right, Tex. I'm being foolish and irresponsible. If there's nothing terrible about what we find, we'll make a lot of money and live happily ever after. Let's keep our fingers crossed, but for now I just want you to sit tight. I have a feeling things are going to get a little sticky from now on. Those initials you found may refer to other people who received boxes from your father. I'll see what I can turn up. Give me a call if anything else occurs to you. All right, Tex. I'll be here. Please be careful. Uh, one of those initial sets that he mentioned was E.W., We've already heard the name Elijah Witt uh, mentioned earlier. But we don't know where he is specifically. Pointless trivia if you've never played the Pandora Directive. Um, I believe Elijah Witt's uh, condo 
is actually the demo it was the uh, the original demo for the Pandora directive back in the day I think it was on like PC gamer had a copy of that looks like the tiles on the top of the box can be moved around oh no I can just find out what pattern they need to be in not this kind of puzzle oh I I know what I'm supposed to do because I have this tapestry, I think. Well, this is certainly an interesting design. I wonder what type of symbols these are. And can I combine the tapestry with the puzzle box? Okay. Well then. I never claimed to be very good at these slide puzzles. Um, let's see, we need one of those up top there and... Ah, jeez. I'm already losing it. Um, how do I... There we go. Okay, top row done. So much unnecessary clicking. I realize this. Actually, hold on. Have I already got this? I've already got it. All right. Bravo me. Looks like a module of some sort and some small metal pegs. Hmm. And the pegs I believe I need for the for um the other puzzle box I found, the one that was sent to Emily Patterson. All right. Uh, let us save our game. And where can we go now that we haven't gone before? Now, we could probably go to Autotech real quick, like. At the very least, look at the locked door. Returning to Autotech after almost getting my head blown off the last time makes me a little nervous. There are no speeders parked outside, and a cautious look around leads me to believe the place is empty. At least for now. I better work fast. I wonder if Jackson Cross stashed the box he took from me and put it in here. I can't think of a better place to start looking. Looks like it's locked. Looks like I'll need to find a special card and passcode before I can open that door. Hmm. Unfortunately, that's going to be very problematic because I do not have... I have a visitor's pass. Is that good enough? I guess the visitor's pass is only used on the access panel in the lobby. And... Like, I doubt I need anything from... The mob should keep that door shut tight. Is the security guard still in there? It's been like a couple days. Uh, let's give Lucia Pernell a call and ask her about that, uh, puzzle book. I hope you are calling with a hot tip. I don't like being the one answering the questions all the time. Oh, but you're so good at it. Can the sweet talk, Murphy? What do you want? Um, hmm. I've never read it myself. Popular with the UFO junkies, though. 
Seems to me I have heard that name in connection with the UFO industry. I don't know anymore. Well, there is a favor you can do for me. You ever heard of a book called There Are Messages from Outer Space? Sure. It's like a Bible for UFO nuts. Well, I've got reason to believe that someone made an anagram out of the title. I need to find a computer program that'll check out all the possible anagrams. Well, that's easy. I know the guy who does the anagrams down here at the paper. I'm sure he can take care of it. Might take a few days, though. That's okay. Just get it as soon as you can. I'll see what I can do to retrieve the Operation right. Euphoria file. Anything else? Yeah. My contact got me a oh, pass key. okay. I guess you'll need it to get to the file. I'll send it over by Express Courier. All right. I'll let you know when I'm ready to make the swap. That would have been good to know ahead of time. Um... That's a whacked out magazine if I ever saw one. Alien encounters, abductions, that sort of thing. All right. Um, you happen to know anything about somebody named Elijah? Are you going to ask me about every person you ever heard of? Yes. That's what I'm going to do. Don't know anything. Horton was with the NSA. He was the right hand man of a higher up named Jackson Cross. All right. Well, now that I got Purnell's key, at least getting into the locker at the NSA should be easy. Oh, yeah. That was... That was fast. So that would be the locker... Uh, in Horton's office. Maybe? Or is that the locker inside the evidence room? Ah, no, I don't need to capitalize. Well, that won't work. That doesn't seem to... Hmm. All right, let's take a look around. Let's talk to Rook. Maybe Rook knows about... So, the man you were chasing was the Black Arrow Killer after all. You know, when I saw him out behind my pawn shop, he was carrying a small box. He was back there for some time. Did you find the box? I did. Um, But more importantly... Of course I've heard about it. How should I know? You expect me... No. I flipped through the pages of the Cosmic Connection. Never have I read such utterly unbelievable tripe. All right. Um, hmm. Why don't I ask, uh... Gordon Fitzpatrick about Elijah Witt? What can I help you with? I learned a few new things, and I'd like to run them by you. By all means. Um, do the initials A, E, O, E, and E, W mean? A, E. I suppose that could refer to Archie Ellis. Oh, all right. I believe he's the editor of The Cosmic Connection. That is good to know. I don't know who he is. No, I've heard of the book, but I've never read it. Oh, yes, I know of him. He's a respected writer in the field of UFO studies. By all appearances, he's a reclusive man. Hmm. I don't believe I have any additional information. After Fitzpatrick hangs up, I realize I forgot to ask him for Ellis's phone number. I decided to check the directory, and surprisingly, Ellis's name is listed. All right, uh, let's back out. Let's save our game before we call Archie Ellis. The UFO enthusiast. Identify yourself. <laughs> um... I am Gandalf, wielder of the Glamdring and slayer of the Balrog. I am unfamiliar with your codename. 
Why have you contacted me? Um, cut to the chase. I'm a friend of Dr. Thomas Malloy. Tell me your name and your connection to Dr. Malloy. Uh, mention boxes, mention name, rank, and serial number. My name's Tex Murphy and I'm a private detective. I was hired to locate the doctor. I cannot assist you in locating the doctor. Well, that didn't go very well. Maybe I should try it again. Alright, let's try it again. Dr. Malloy asked me to carry on his work oh, okay. involving hieroglyphics <laughs> found in the Roswell spaceship. If you have knowledge of the Roswell hieroglyphics, then you should know other details regarding alien studies. If you can answer several questions, I will agree to meet with you. Who was the author of There Are Messages From Space? Oh, that's obvious. That's J.I. Thelwaite. J.I. Thelwaite? Correct. What is the name of the site of the immense alien landing strips in Peru? Uh, that would be the Plains of Nazca. The Plain of Nazca. Correct. Name the structure located at Tiahuanaco. The Gate of the Sun. The Gate of the Sun. You have passed the test. Contact Archibald Ellis at 413 Vina Del Mar. Alright. Let us save our game real quick like. Uh, now that we have passed the test and contact Archibald Ellis. Uh, right over there. You know, the fact that it shows you a picture of the guy before you actually go to him, I, I think that kind of spoils the reveal a little bit. Like, you see that mysterious um, effect on the phone to kind of mask his identity, and then you're like, oh, it's just this guy. The sloppily painted sign 413 Vina Del Mar identifies the place as the Cosmic Connection. The display window is filled with charms, amulets, UFO books, and astrology charts. It doesn't look too promising. I open the door and step inside. An innocuous looking little man is debating furiously with someone on the vid phone. Look, extraterrestrial contact was made by the Russians throughout the 50s. It is well documented. Wrong decade, Arch. The aliens had to get rid of Kennedy before he exposed them, and LBJ was certainly under their control, if not actually one of them. LBJ was a commie, mate. Look, Larry, Vietnam was a ruse to divert <laughs> the America's public attention and to throw our political system into chaos. Cliché, cliché, cliché. You know what, Larry? You're really beginning to get on my nerves here, okay? So why don't I call you back later? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you always sneak up on people like that? Yes. I'm a PI. It's what I get paid to do. Are you Ellis? Yeah, that's right. Uh, you, you must be Murphy. Uh, here's my card. <laughs> you, you got one? Uh, darn it, I, I think I just handed out my last one. Oh, okay. Well, you get me one later. <laughs> so, you're a private eye, huh? <laughs> Never met a private eye before. <laughs> hey, want some herbal tea? No. I've got a cup that's right no. here. Oh, okay. I'm not making it specifically for you. So, uh, you know Dr. Malloy? I knew him. He's dead. The NSA murdered him. Murdered him? Yeah, for a second I was wondering if they were actually going to cut actually, to a different camera angle. I think the <laughs> NSA wanted to take him alive. So I gather from that... But the NSA wanted something from it. Now, you were with him recently. Do you have any idea what that would be? Oh, do you mind? <laughs> Actually, I do. Well, I guess this is the part where you tell me everything you know about Malloy. Tex, you are the worst guest. I wasn't done with that yet. You had offered it to me. Want me to start at the beginning? That That's sounds like an excellent part to start well, from. I publish a magazine called The Cosmic Connection. I'm sure you've heard of it. 
we feature investigative reports, uh, interviews, anything concerning uh, the supernatural, the ET, you know, anything like that. Anyway, one of my contacts in the field is a man by the name of Elijah Witt. Oh, he is a legend in the area of alien encounters. Anyway, a few months back, he set up an interview between uh, Dr. Malloy and myself. Did Witt say how he knew Malloy? No, but I think that he, uh, Witt, um, pulled some strings and got him a, a Malloy, a, a research lab at uh, San Francisco Tech. Uh, Witt used to be a professor there. And, uh, Any idea what uh, Malloy was doing at the research lab? Research, presumably. I, I don't really know, um, but uh, he did use a strange term, uh, the, the Pandora device. I, I'm not really sure exactly what it means. Pandora device. Well, yeah, he talks about the, the dark seed that was unleashed. The what? Well, something got loose, something alive. I mean, come on, there's been stories around for ages. Anyway, we talked about other things. You know, Roswell, of course. You know what? What you should probably do is uh, read some books and... Uh, I can make some recommendations. You, you know, this investigation is only going to go on for several days. Uh, so see, I don't know I'm if I'm going to have time to read. Light. Uh, hmm. Folk Cult's Pendulum. This is practically a manual on government conspiracies. And uh, let's see. Adrift in the Telluric Currents. Now, this is a little tougher read, but, but uh, it's good. It's really good. And a, a, a must read is the fifth column, okay, by, by Richard Eco. Now this man, he was a prophet. I mean, he proved without reasonable doubt that we've been living amongst aliens for generations and the government knows everything. I mean, it, it even hints that one of our presidents was a, was a alien, oh, if yes, not sir. at least happy. I, 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 I won't uh, tell you which president. I want to ruin the surprise for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good of you. No anyway, spoilers it's, it's for uh, alien presidents. Circles, abductions, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Look, if you want my advice, don't trust anybody. Okay. I mean, I can sense you're on the level here, but most of the time, people, you just don't know. I mean, aliens are everywhere, man. Hey, Archie. How do you know I'm not an alien? <laughs> Murph, you're so silly. Everyone knows aliens deny their own existence. Duh. Well, I appreciate you letting me borrow these. Sure, just take them home with you. Uh, could I ask you a few more questions? Sure, that would be great. All right. Um, what am I going to ask him about? Cosmic connection? I can't help you with that. Uh, puzzle book? I can't help you with that. Uh, I guess he can't help me with that. Did Malloy send you a small box made of some strange metal, no apparent way of opening it up? Well, actually he did, but it got stolen. That in the interview I did with Dr. Malloy. You know, I'm missing a stapler, too, and a few pens. I don't know if um, I misplaced them or something. I, I think your well, stapler and pens... You just let somebody waltz in here and take the box? Well, no, actually, I hid it. But whoever broke in, they knew exactly what they were looking for. All right. Ellis's interview with the interview Malloy. The interview I did with Dr. Malloy was on uh, two separate discs. They only got the first one. You know, Archie, you, you shouldn't be dragging CDs around like doctor. that. This power cell, as you call it, could it be used to power these ships? Hypothetically. But first, we'd have to get into the Roswell complex. And the military isn't about to roll out the red carpet. Well, rumors have circulated for years about what really happened there. Would you care to shed some light on the incident? Well, I can only tell you what I've heard. Among the various items recovered at the Roswell crash were several egg-shaped capsules stored inside a containment chamber. Now, no one could figure out how to open the capsules, so they faded into the background for years. Then the researchers figured out how to operate the accelerator. Apparently, someone used it 
on one of the capsules and something was released into the facility. And whatever it was, it killed off almost everyone in the complex before the military could quarantine the area. And no one's been in the complex since then? <sighs> Not that I know of. Thank you for your time, Doc. So, what do you think? Uh, pretty cool, huh? Uh, yeah. The stuff about Roswell was interesting. He didn't say anything about the Pandora divide. Nope. So what are we going to do now? Well, I've got to find out more about the Pandora device. Maybe I ought to contact Elijah Witt. Ooh, I, I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? Well, you see, Mr. Witt, you know, he's a personal friend of mine, but uh, he's a very important, very private person. He, uh, he doesn't like strangers. <laughs> Too many wackos on the loose, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean, Archie. Okay, hmm. Um, what about Archie's puzzle box? There were strange designs on the box. They looked, uh, Mayan or Aztec. Uh. I, I told you what I know. I mean, by the name, I guess it's something powerful and something Dr. Malloy doesn't want to let loose. Well, I'm just one of the few people who realize that we are not alone in the universe. I mean, anyone who thinks otherwise is insane. Of course, I would never have questioned this. Yeah, that's the pen name for Elijah Wood. Oh, he uses okay. for his books. It's an anagram of his real name. <laughs> oh, okay. E Elijah Witt. Sure I know about the book. You don't? I mean, I've read it at least a hundred times. Yeah, that's the code name for the research done at Roswell on the alien wreckage. I don't have any real good documentation on it. The government keeps a very tight lid on it. So he's heard about it, but he's also still alive. Oh, Mr. Witt is a living legend in the UFOologist community. <laughs> I would love to have him over for some herbal tea and conversation, but he's always busy. I guess I just have to be content with his books. Well, as you can see, my shop here isn't just for anyone, but my magazine is written to be interesting and informative to all readers of all ages. Not some readers of all ages. I don't know anything about any other boxes. Malloy never mentioned them. Oh, the doctor was a really nice guy. I'm really sorry to hear that he's no longer on this earth plane. You know, dead. I get it. Face City Mirror. <sighs> well, you know, I subscribe to the mirror. It's a little soft on conspiracy issues, but yeah, not bad overall. See, that's the problem with the news these days. They don't really cover conspiracy issues enough. Yeah, she's a reporter for the Bay City Mirror. I mean, I tried to get her to write for the Cosmic Connection, but um, we didn't hit it off real well. Yeah. Sure, I know about NSA. <laughs> Scary group. I mean, it's common knowledge they're being run by aliens. Aliens. Mac Malden, Sue Patterson, Gus Leach, Fuchsia. Hmm. Nilo Gordon. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. Someone by that name contacted me a couple weeks ago. You know, he was trying to locate Dr. Malloy, but I couldn't give him much help. All right. And which is why I, Gordon eventually uh, found me, or should I say Tex, um, at the Bruin well, Institute. you know, it's good to meet someone with the same ideas as me. Yeah, you know, I get so tired of people thinking I'm some kind of kook or something. All right, let's uh, head off. To Ellis was like entering the twilight zone. All this hocus pocus about aliens and quarantines. And what's the story of the Pandora device Ellis referred to? I wonder if it could be linked to the boxes Malloy sent out. All right. Uh, let's head back to the office, see if I got a fax about the anagrams. I did not get a fax about the anagrams. All right.
It looks like I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm supposed to do next. Huh. Let's uh let's go around the street, talk to a few people. Let's go to What now, Murphy? Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk to him about Archie Ellis. How should I know? Uh Elijah Witt. Never heard. Uh, let's, let's call Lucia Purnell, actually, real quick, like. Now that I've got a couple names. Or Gordon Fitzpatrick. Or Regan. Yeah. This is Lucia Purnell. Oh, nope, she's not at home. Hello, Tex. Found any leads on our mystery initials? Um, flirt a little, looking for help. I'm working on it. Called to see what information you can give me. Ask me anything you want. Let's ask her about Archie Ellis. Um... That's another name I've heard. I think he may have been an associate of my father, though I can't be sure. Reagan Manson? I've had to fight for everything I've ever gotten. Now I want what my father had. All right. Gordon Fitzpatrick, what do you have to tell me? Good evening, Tex. You look as though you're on to something. What can I do for you? Well, I had a little talk with Archie Ellis. It seems that Dr. Malloy was working on something called the Pandora device, and I think it's connected to the boxes. I'd like to run some of these new developments by you. All right. Tell me about... It's possible that the box that Mr. Ellis received was a blind meant to throw the NSA off track. Hmm. Knowing Thomas, he wouldn't put all of his information in any one box. Maybe we need all of the boxes to create the Pandora device. I believe he's the editor of the Cosmic Connection. Um, what about Elijah Witt? Oh, yes, I know of him. He's a respected Oh, wait, I already asked about that. Um, let us take a quick stroll around the neighborhood, not of the menu. Coit Tower, maybe? Well, I heard you saved Emily the other night. She's a real nice girl. Well, I guess you're not as big a bonehead as I thought. Still a bonehead, but not as big of a one. Well, that makes me feel so warm inside. You have time to talk. Now, I'm kind of busy with all these customers, but I'll see if I can fit you in. <laughs> all right, let's ask about Archie Ellis. Totally. Now I've got a huge oh, I I list going on. Um, hmm. Let's go to the electronic shop. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Actually, hold on. I still need a key card. I need it, both a key card and a passcode, both of which I'm missing. And I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to get those things. Oh, okay. Apparently I can go to Mac. What can I do for you, Murphy? And I can ask Mac about the Dag Horton NSA connection. Look, Mac, I need your help. I know Dag Horton was an NSA agent, but I gotta find out why he was posing as the Black Arrow killer. Now, this could be a matter of life and death. For me. <laughs> Come on, Murphy. You know they don't tell me anything. Especially not when the NSA is involved. I'm the wrong guy to ask. Man, you gotta be able to figure out something to tell me. Well, I do know one thing. I know where they took the body. It's down at the county forensics lab. Listen, I know the guy that runs the place. Maybe I can get you in and you can have a little time to take a look around. That's it. That's all I can do for you. Well, maybe that'll be enough. Maybe. At the very least, uh, Mac realizes the importance... ...or the, the gravity of the situation. For the second time in a week, Mac comes through for me. Now, that's a new record for him. 
When I get to the morgue, the door's unlocked and the coroner has conveniently gone out for a long lunch. All right. I think I'm going to stop here for the night. Uh, next time, we will look around the coroner's office, uh, see if we can garner some information about Dag Horton. In the meantime, got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourselves a good night.